Right, okay, good morning everybody. It is Saturday the 5th of November 2022. I am in Stanley Park, as you can probably see, and I'm here to do my next um, weekend video of the Anfield Road Stand with my voiceover, um, which, which I do every weekend, addressing some of your questions and comments that you've put to me um, from my, from my midweek video um, that I've done, where we just have a, a look at the, a look at the um, entire site. So, first thing first, let me turn you around. Got my drone there, ready to go. Um, don't know if you can see it there on the floor, it's quite small, but anyway. Um, first thing we'll see when we turn around is that the big crane um, has has moved from the corner between the, the main stand and the um, Anfield Road stand to the to the other corner, between the uh, Sir Kenny Dargley stand and the Anfield Road stand. So it's the first thing I noticed straight away. Um, obviously very, very noticeable. But you've probably seen from my thumbnail I have some breaking news, um, I think it is anyway, um, regarding the roof and what we know about the, the work with the roof. Um, so, without further ado, let's get up in the air, um, start addressing some of your question comments and I'll, I'll tell you what, what I've been told, what I know. Let's get up there. Okay guys, so we're going to get straight up to around... Um, the 60, 60 meters mark or so. It's a, it's a little bit windy today. The rain's just holding off for now. I've managed to, to get a little break in the rain. So we're gonna uh, straight up there. Here we are. Sixty meters. Sorry, went quiet then. I could hear some sort of like shouting or something inside um, the site. So. Then I'm going to move over towards towards it, get get um, close and right behind it. You can see how wet it is in and around uh, Anfield, but like I say, it's it's uh, it's it's dry at the moment, uh, holding off. And there's some nice uh, clear skies there in the in the distance. Your fingers crossed that comes our way. Um, there's some uh, like blue frame or something on top there. Um, is it just netting? Oh, you think you'd have thought they'd have gone for a different colour, wouldn't you? Um, right. Okay. There we go. So we are at 70 meters. Um, right behind it. Now, as, as you can see, just just pointing out that crane. Um, that crane's now there, right in the corner of the um, Sir Kenny Dalglish and Anfield Road stand corner, moved from there, no idea when it moved, I, I was here Wednesday and it was obviously over here, but I think maybe they've moved it to start doing uh, more works down on, down on the corner there, um, because yeah, there's definitely more, uh, more going up there, but anyway, right, let's get into it, let's, let's get these Let's start addressing these questions and tell you what I what I've been what I've been told. So um, let me get to the comments and questions on my phone. Okay, so f first up, Terry Wilson. The club announced this week that once the old roof is removed during the World Cup, there will still be sections of the new roof incomplete before the season news at the end of December. Fans at each road of the Annie Road stand, i.e. away fans and home fans at this Kenny Dalglish end, will be open to the elements for a while. The club have said they will provide ponchos. Yeah, Terry, thanks very much for that. Um, i seen that um, article as well, and i seen that they said about the ponchos. So that article was released on the 31st of October, I think it was, which was uh, Monday. Um, we're now with the 5th, um, you know, what, four, four or five days on. Um, and I've been told... Um, Terry, that the roof, are we all listening, the roof coming off the plans is cancelled, um, that's what I've been told, that they've cancelled the November and December roof works where they were going to take the old roof off and get as much of the new roof on as they can and take, taking that old one off onto the pitch, um, I, I'm told that that's cancelled um, and what they've put that back to the end of the season. Now, um, so we won't be seeing that in November. We will not be seeing that. Um, regarding, does does that put them? You'd expect that would put them 
well behind, a couple of months behind. But I've also, I've also heard that, well, no, it won't. It just gives them a lot. It just gives them more to do um, at, at, at the end of the season, regarding the roof. But who knows? I, I always, I always thought. I'll tell you what, he's lifting that steel quick. Can you see that on the, uh, on the right? Um, I, I always thought, and I mentioned this in my previous videos, that I thought it was a lot to do to try and get the roof off down onto the pitch out and get the other roof um, the new roof on as much of it as they could um, and perhaps they released that that statement earlier in the week well sorry the, the very beginning of the week that perhaps they released that to give a heads up that look we, we realize we're not going to get it done so you might be open to the elements and maybe they've quickly decided actually we can't do that maybe they had some backlash off that um, I'm not sure but anyway I've heard that the roof being taken off the old Anfield Road and the new roof put on um, or as much as they could in November and December when we break for World Cup I've heard that that's cancelled and they are now they've put that back to the end of the season um, what I've heard I'm just gonna say right now I've heard that um, if it's wrong and they start cracking on with the roof I apologize but I'm just telling you guys what I've heard okay so uh, so there you go guys there you go that's my that's my big breaking news which I brought to you at the very beginning of the video um, moving on moving on uh, Richard Langley great work Nick I've watched every update so far and I've really enjoyed the progress thanks Richard before it gets taken down is there any chance of getting a better view of the scaffolding underneath the new roof it would be interesting to see the structure of it and have some idea what it's there for because it's under the whole roof thanks again um, okay so let's go up a bit so you, the scaffolding under the new roof you want to have a look at Tell you what, I'll go around this way because we've got that crane at the other end. Um, so the scaffolding. Yeah, you can. You can. Um, see, I mean, I'd assume that's just to do with the. The underside of the. You know, one, one would assume that's to that's me. Listen, one would assume. <laughs> I would assume that that's to do. There we go. I'll zoom in a bit for you there, and I'll 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 also try coming around the other side. But yeah, I'd I'd assume that's um. I just assume that's to do with them. Doing like the underside of the roof. Um, Richard, was it? Sorry. Yeah, surely that's to do with the the underside of the roof. I'll. Um, I wanted. I wanted to stay here. So, so yeah, Richard. There you go. Um, I'm having. I'm having a look at there. By the way, guys. I know it looks like I'm really close to that crane, but I've zoomed in. I'm actually like right over the the houses, um, away from the away from the ground. So if anybody's concerned about that, don't be. Um, honestly, I'm, I'm quite far away. See the guys working away there. Um, might be able to come in a little bit lower. So I've come. I wanted to come here because the next one. Um, there's a um, Andy who messaged me on. Um, I think it was Instagram. But Andy said, "How's it going, Nick? When you do your next Liverpool vlog, try and have a look at what will be, what will be the back row on the top. Just seen a Paul Frost vlog that popped up on my phone. There don't seem to be much headroom." <laughs> jump up to celebrate a goal and get knocked off <laughs> knocked off on the roof Liverpool going to have, have to supply hard hats for supporters <laughs> cheers Andy um, yeah maybe me giggle that um, so yeah I see Andy's talking about yeah the top I see what you're saying um, Andy I, I do yeah but surely I think maybe that just looks um maybe it just I can zoom in a little bit more there thing is when you zoom you do lose a little bit of the the quality um, but see we're getting a good look at that scaffolding as well for Richard but yeah looking at that back row Andy I see what you mean but surely you know I think maybe that's a little bit deceptive um, there, there probably be loads room there's probably about it's probably about eight to ten foot or something between that I'm guessing totally guessing I couldn't imagine they <laughs> they do it so 
you're going to be crouching to get in or banging your head or anything. But I see, I do see what you mean. And the, yeah, yeah. Um, might look a bit tight. What does everybody else think about that? It's good. Well, I like the comment Liverpool have to supply hard hats. Perhaps they'll have one sitting on each, uh, each chair at the top there. Uh, each seat, but um, yeah, yeah, it looks a bit tight, Andy, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Thanks for your thanks for your uh, comment, mate. Um, here we go, Rainman. Uh, next up, Rainman, four thousand five hundred times. Okay, another great update, Nick. The Nike swoosh is disguised for UEFA games due to sponsorship issues. Yeah, so a couple of you. This this is to do with um, when I let's let's zoom out, get higher, and scoot round. Um, want to make sure I'm well above that, that the frame um, so yeah Rainman thank you very much so just going to nip round and have a look at this Nike swoosh quickly and whilst we're around there we can have a uh, a look at the the inside of the frame um, so the Nike swoosh is on the Anfield Road stand and I'd mentioned in my midweek video if, if anybody didn't watch it that I'd noticed um, there we go it's coming into picture there I noticed that they like made it into a face um, on Wednesday was it I don't know on Tuesday on my video and, and Liverpool were playing Napoli um, in the Champions League and yeah so they turned that Nike swoosh down there into a face and I wondered why um, but quite a few people um, like Rayman have commented saying that it's it's because um, of sponsorship um, issues because Nike are not a sponsor of of UEFA or, or, or Champions League or something like that so um, they have to take it out that, seems silly to me like you know there's surely there's going to be things that don't sponsor you know not every like like firm or brand can sponsor everything so but yeah it must be i don't know if you wait for demand that that it's not shown or something but anyway yeah so quite a few uh commented with that so thanks very much cheers ray man thanks a lot um let's move on mr james the brain high net class video as always question for your weekend video i've noticed the more the build goes on there are orange stills at either end of the stand do you know if they're a permanent thing or are they just temporary support in place they're temporary uh they're, they're definitely temporary um you can see some of them here um i'm gonna i'll come round back around this way I'll tell you what I'll, I'll stop you think you can see some as it is in in view but yeah they're, they're definitely temporary um james the brain i've been told that they will be replaced uh, with the with the you know the, the proper um, like like grey steel um, at some point I think um, that's what I've been told you alright mate um, so yeah that's that's the plan um, right moving on Stuart Mount thanks again Mr D for a great video could you look next time at the base of the new stand next to the S the Kenny Dog Leafs see if they have, they have in fact started the brickwork of course I can Stuart because I was going around that way now so I'll tell you what as we go around we'll have a look at the um orange steel and the so you're saying the base have to lower a bit because I'm getting some signal issue sorry went quiet there it's getting a bit of a signal issue and I don't know why to be honest it's normally absolutely fine come around there you go it's come back and find now so there you go for a start um was it james there's the orange steels yes they they will be replaced and looking at the base of the corner you said about brickwork can't see any brickwork at the moment um Stuart. No, I can't see any. I can't see any uh, stewards. And, and I'm looking at a small screen though, so I do. If I miss something, you guys that you guys see, um, point it out for me. 
I'm just gonna zoom in here. Come round a bit. Can't can't see it. Unless is that right on the right on those base joints is there some brick there? I can't see it evidently. I may see more when I look at me um when I'm editing it. Looking at it back on a bigger screen. I'm just not sure if the very base there's some brick down down there on those um almost like the, the, the ends of the walls, the, the pillars almost, but I can't I can't see the the evident brickwork going on. Uh, somebody else did mention it though as well. Stuart, you so you're not the only one to to ask that because somebody else did uh, did mention it to me. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. Um, I'm moving on. Um, Anthony Parker, hi Mr. Drone. Just a question for your weekend voiceover. Where will they put the new road once the stand is complete? Is it going where the red fence and path on Stanley Park is? Um, so the the red fence there. Well, yeah, yeah, it it is. Um, well, you see. You see where the red fence is. Um, so there's obviously some some brickwork and and um, glass curtain walling to come up round. So that will come out a little bit more of of the of the stand, and then the road's directly behind. So I'll share an illustration right now um, that that I've got. So you'll see on the on the illustration there. See where the cars are. It looks like um, block paving. There's just some some like bollards separating the. The, the pathways and the road but you can see like there's two cars and it's you know one going either way as well um so so yeah it's literally right behind right behind the stand um anthony is is where it's going so you see where there's that um moving back to the screen you see there's like a a, a vehicle moving there uh, in the screen that's pretty much where the road's going to be and, and vehicles will move so so yeah um there you go Anthony, so guys, yeah, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring the the drone back round. And we'll get it down. Are you alright, mate? How's it going? Right, we'll just uh, bring the, the drone down. Take a few pics and I'll finish up the video. Right guys, finished up there. Just walking towards to get the, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but that crane's lifting two steels at a time. Absolute crane tech is that. Um, but yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. Let's um, let's have a recap. I always have to go to my phone to, to have this recap. Um, so we, first things first, um, we spoke about the, the roof. Um, as as um, Terry Wilson mentioned, that uh, um, Liverpool had announced the 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 new roof might not be finished, and therefore some fans will be open to the ele elements for the rest of the season, and they'll provide ponchos. Um, I've heard that the the roof coming off the Anfield Road stand is uh, during the World Cup break, so November and December, which is meant to start like in what ten days time or so. I've heard that that's now cancelled completely um until the end of the season and they're going to, to to smash through that at the end of the season i've heard that that's that that's not going to delay things that you'd think you'd think the it obviously would but i've heard that the you know the sure there's sure there's lots to be getting on with um i'm gutted as well by the way about that because i was looking forward to to covering that um although it might be easier to cover it in the summer obviously um but but yeah so that's big news big big breaking news from me today and i hope it's right what well, i hope what i've heard right um if it's wrong and they crack on with it next week or in 10 days you know more fool me eh um but yeah th from where i've heard it's it's usually quite you know quite good quite good info but anyway um there you go from then um what did we have we had a look at the scaffolding underneath the scaffolding on the on the um terracing underneath the roof we had a good look at that for richard he wanted to have a look 
Um, so I got nice and close on that. And at the same time, Andy wanted to look at the back row and see how close it was because he said it looked um, it looks really close and looks like you're going to need a hard hat if you if you jump to celebrate a goal or anything. So we had a good look at that for Andy. Um, Rayman confirmed about the Nike swoosh um, for UEFA games and European games. Yeah, it's something I didn't know. Um, quite a few of you did respond saying, you know, let me know. So thanks very much for that. But I, I didn't know that. Um, every day is a school day, isn't it? Um, James the Brain, um, the Orange Steel, James asked about. Um, yeah, it's it's temporary. Um, I, I believe um, I've covered that before, but anyway, you, you asked James, so so yeah, that's that's temporary and will be will be replaced. Um, and then Stuart Mount um, uh, asked about the brickwork. Said he he believes that they'd started the brickwork um, at the base of the columns um, near the near this Kenny Dogley stand, but I didn't I couldn't see it. I may have seen it by now on my on my um, larger screen, but um, yeah, I'll keep an eye on that though. Uh, thanks, Stuart. Um, and Anthony Parker asked about the road. Uh, where will the road um, be? So uh, I just showed that. So yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, please leave your comments um, down below of, of anything, uh, anything you've spotted, anything you want me to to address. Yeah, leave me your comments. Um, please subscribe, guys. Only about thirty percent of people that watch my videos actually subscribe. So please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you would like to buy me a beer. You can do so using this link if you would like to. No pressure there. And last but not least, you'll see all my branded clothing. I just want to give a plug to Design and Stitch in Morton on the Whirl, um, who do all my clothing. I find them excellent. So if you're local, um, you need branded clothing give them a shout. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye now.